In this video today, I'm gonna to show you what I do after every single DJ set. Now, if you're a resident DJ like me, you're gonna to wanna to try and improve your DJ sets every single week, because if you don't improve them, you're gonna end up playing the same set every single week and the crowd in front of you are gonna get bored and they're gonna start predicting your set and know exactly what songs you're gonna play next. So what I tend to do after every single DJ set is open up my DJ software. Now, I'm gonna be demonstrating this in Serato DJ Pro, but you could do this in Rekordbox, Traktor, and Virtual DJ, any other DJ software. So if we come over to Serato now, I've just got the main interface open now. So what we're gonna do is head over to history. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the set that we just played. So I've got a set here, the 1st of April. So if I open this up, you're gonna see all the tracks that I played this night. So what I'm gonna do is highlight all these tracks, come all the way down to the bottom, highlight them all, and then drag them over and make a new crate. So as you can see here, it's creating a new crate. What we're gonna do with this crate is name the crate, the name of the venue and the date that we played. So I'm just gonna type in here, Walk about Reading, 1st April. So if I close the history tab now. So what I'm gonna do now is order this by number. So as you can see, this is the set that I played. So you can see if I scroll down, that I played all these tracks in this exact order. So with this now, say for example, next week you're playing your residency and you get stuck. You can always refer back to this crate. So say for example, you get halfway through and you're about to play, I don't know, some dance or some Afrobeats or even some house. You can refer back to when you played house in your last set and then jump into this crate here and then play the tracks from here. But what we're gonna do in this video is take it a little step further. So what I like to do is analyze my set. So I do go from the top down and just kind of figure out what I was doing. So obviously I started with a little bit of house, then I switched to R&B, then I went to Afrobeats, UK music. So what I like to do in Serato is split up the night in sections. So I play in sections, I don't know about you guys, but what I normally do is I play opening, warm up, main set, I'll play a little dancehall, Afrobeats, etc. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna split up the night into sections. So what I'm gonna do is these first few tracks here, this was my house warm up. So I'm gonna drag this over here and I'm gonna call this house opening warm up. Then I'm gonna just drag this underneath here. So if I go back into the main crate now, the next section I done was a bit of R&B, so I think I've done a bit of R&B opening warm up as well. So I'm gonna click this, scroll down, then I'm gonna highlight all these tracks here. Again, drag it over here. Then I'm gonna do R&B opening warm up. Come back into the main crate and just carry on doing that. So here I played a little bit of Afro beats. So these are, the, these are a few um, opening Afro beats tracks that I played. So I'm gonna just do that. Come back into the crate. So then I started doing a bit of a UK warm up. So when I ref when I say UK opening, the Afrobeats opening, these are tracks that I wouldn't normally play in the main set. I normally play this at the start when no one's in there because these are tracks that nobody really knows, but these are tracks that I like. So I'm gonna highlight these tracks here. UK music, opening UK music. From here, I think I started the warm up when people started coming to the dance floor. So I started playing a bit of Kanye West. And if you scroll down, you can see that I started playing a bit of old school R&B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this up and just call this warm up R&B because this is when people started coming up on the dance floor. So warm up R&B. You can see tracks in here like No Diggity, Yo Excuse Me Miss, I Know What You Want kind of thing. So yeah, it's warm up R&B. Then from here, this is when I started playing the club classics. So the dance will start to fill up now. The girls were happy. So I need to start playing songs that everyone kind of likes. So if you see here, I've got It Wasn't Me, No Games Blend by Raymond. Big up Raymond for this one. So what I'm gonna do is all these tracks here are club classics, warm up tracks. So if you see here, I've got Talk Dirty, Empire State of Mind, Freaky Friday, Never Leave You. So I'm gonna just literally copy from here all the way down. I've got tracks I love like this, Be Faithful. These are all, yeah, these are all warm up tracks. So I think, yep, still going. So then yeah, so I'm gonna get down to here. So I'm gonna call this Club Classics. Open this back up. Then I changed the BPM back to 92 BPM. So again, I started playing another set of warm up um, R&B, but this is like warm up R&B to get the girls dancing. So you got Rihanna Work, drop it like it's hot, no scrub. So I'm gonna copy these. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna drag these into um, Club Classics as well. So I'm gonna drag these into here because these belong in here. So then what I did was I changed to a bit of commercial dance hall. So I'm gonna highlight these and then just put commercial dance hall here and go back into this. And then 
Oh, there's another one here <laughs> and another one here. So let me put these in here. So then I switched to some um, UK warm up. So if you can see here, I've got J Hus friendly, warning, no words, fine go. So I'm just going to highlight all of these. Put that there. So that's going to be warm up UK. Come back into here. I played a bit of Afro beats and Amma Piano. So I'm going to highlight these here and just put, I think this was like commercial Afro beats. And so it's going to be commercial Afro beats and Amma Piano. Then we've got dance hall. So in my residency, I do play a lot of dance hall. So this is the big dance hall section here. So I'm going to literally copy all of this and then just put in here dance hall. Come back into here. Then I started playing some UK funky. Again, highlight all these. UK funky. Then after that, I play some Afro beats. So you can see last, last burner boy here. So I'm going to copy these. Put this into here and just put Afrobeats. And then again, I went into dancehall, but this is more of your harder dancehall. So I'm going to see again, I played a lot of this. So if I scroll down and I highlight all of these. So I'm going to put this as hard dancehall. And then I switched into some hard UK. So you can see talking the hardest gigs, Digga D Woy. Copy this, put that there. So I'm going to put hard UK and then I played some hip hop. So you can see many men can't tell me nothing. Uh, hot boy lifestyle. So I'm going to copy all these again, drag that over to here. I think I'm going to put this as hard, um, hard hip hop. And then start the night started to kind of wind down a bit. So here I played some old school dance hall. So again, I'm going to put that here. Old school dance hall. Open this back up. I played a tiny bit of Soka because someone asked me for it. So I'm just going to put that in here. It's only three tracks, but it's fine. And then I played some Afro Beats and Amma Piano, but I'm just going to call this Afro Beats 2. So I played another section of it. And then we kind of wind down. So I played One Chance by Scrap, then went into my old school R&B closing. So I'm going to just highlight that. Do old school R&B closing. And then the last bit I've done was your dance hall reggae lovers rock section. So I'm going to take that, put that here. I'm going to put dance hall closing. So now, as you can see in front of me, we have now split up the night into sections. So I started with house, went into R&B, did a bit of Afro beats, UK, went into warm up R&B, played the club classics to get everyone dancing, switched it to a bit of dance hall, Play some UK um, warm up for like the younger kids. Put a bit of Afro beats and Admin Piano where you can see that I played Drog by Afro B. In my residency, we love a lot of dance halls. So I played a massive section of dance halls, as you can see here. Switched it to UK Funky when I got up to 120 BPM. Played Afro beats, played Heart and Dance Hall, played Hard UK, Hard Hip Hop, Old School Dance Hall, Soka, Afro beats, Old School R&B Closing and Dance Hall. I do play my nights in sections and this really does help me. I don't know if you guys do this, but you might want to start doing this. We've now done this, but now we can take it a step further. So obviously, we want to try and improve our sets the week after. So you'll play this set this week, but you want to try and change it up next week. But you also don't want to change it up too much because you know that these tracks work. So what I'm going to show you next is a technique that I use. Um, I'm only going to do it for one of the folders. Otherwise, it's going to take me a very long time. But what we're going to do is say, for example, OK, let's go into Afro Beats. Say, for example, we want to better this set next week. So we can play Last Last. We can play Love Nuanti. We can play Ginger next week. But we want to introduce some new tracks. So what we're going to do is create a new crate here, drag this underneath Afrobeats, and then call this Afrobeats to play. Now, before we do anything, let's highlight all these tracks here and then color these red. So now all these tracks are colored red. So we know these are the tracks that we played last week. Now, if you're organized like me, you probably do have an Afrobeats crate in your crate. So if I go over to my crates here, I have a Afrobeats crate that I usually play from. So it's here. So I usually cut, I usually play from green Afrobeats. Green Afrobeats are the Afrobeats that I play in a club. So what I like to do is order it by BPM. And you can see that the tracks that we played last week are highlighted red. So what I'm going to do is kind of just scroll down and see which tracks that I would like to play next week and then put them into the crate. So I might want to play Gabona by Burner Boy. I'm going to find my crate down here, Afrobeats to play, and I'm going to drag it into here. Scroll down, find some other tracks that I might want to play. So Leg Over by Mr. 
Mr. Easy. Uh, put that into there. I might want to play Ruga, uh, Dior. That's a good tune. People, Libyanka, play that, put that in there. Scroll down. There might be some other tracks that you want to play that you know will work in your residency. Um, so I'm going to put this in here. This is just a good technique to use because when you're DJing, your mind goes blank. As well, I, my mind goes blank anyway. So you wouldn't think to just play one of these tracks. You're always going to refer back to the tracks that worked last week. So doing this technique will help you take a little bit more risk the week after. So if we scroll down again, I might want to play Soundgasm. Put that in here. Um, go by Techno. Scroll down. I might want to play Finesse. So now, if we go into Afrobeats to play, I'm going to highlight these tracks green. So now... Next week, when we go play our residency and we happen to play some Afrobeats, we can go into this crate here and you can see that the tracks that are red are the tracks that we played last week, but the tracks that are green are the tracks that we want to introduce this week. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you might be DJing, you might think, you know what, I want to switch to Afrobeats. You jump into this crate now and you're going to play Last Last, you're going to play Love Nowinti, but now you can see other tracks that you want to play this week. So you can play Leg Over, you can play Rush, you can play Go. So this is just a good way to introduce new tracks into your sets every single week. Now, this is just what I do after every single DJ set to help me improve my sets every single week. As a DJ that plays at a residency, it is hard to kind of introduce new tracks because you know the crowd, you know exactly what they like. As a DJ, you need to start introducing new tracks to the crowd. Otherwise, they're gonna know exactly what tracks you're gonna play next and then your set's gonna get really stale, the crowd's gonna get bored and you're gonna get bored as well because you're playing the same tracks. Use this technique that I showed you in this video. Hopefully it will help you out and it'll hopefully it will improve your sets. Now, now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.